This is an overview of Google's powerful Surat tool, using the Unity 3D game engine to get a complex scene with 1.7 million polygons and 650 draw calls down to 180,000 polys and 15 draw calls so that it will run on mobile hardware. First we need to go to the Google VR GitHub page and find the Surat Unity plugin. There are export plugins for Unreal 4 and Maya as well, and we'll need to come back here later to grab the actual Surat program to process our scene. But for now, just click on the Surat Unity plugin link. From here, you can just click on the download link and take the project file as a zip, or use your preferred GitHub client. It's up to you. All of the instructions for importing the Surat mesh back into Unity are in this readme file, along with some troubleshooting info if you need it. We can see that in our original scene, we have 1.7 million polys and 643 draw calls with our character included in the scene, or 1 million polys and 600 draw calls with the character turned off. Here's an overview of the scene with everything selected so that we can see what we're working with. Obviously, even with baked lighting, occlusion, and frustum calling, etc., this is not going to work on a mobile device. Now we're zoomed up to the blue Surat capture box, which I've already imported into the scene. We can see even from this vantage point, everything is pretty dense. So here's the Surat head box that we want to capture. I've set it to capture 1.4 by 1.4 meter square area around the camera with a height of 2 meters so that we can get all the way to the floor. We also can set various parameters for sampling as well as where we want to output. Um, I played around with this quite a bit, so these aren't the default settings, but this worked for me. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and hit the capture button and get it started. Sped things up for the video, but depending on your sample and resolution settings, this can take anywhere from a few seconds to 10 minutes. What it's doing here is capturing 360 degree photos from numerous vantage points from within the predefined cube that will process with the Surat program to create our new mesh and texture. Next, we'll grab the Surat source code and compile our binary so that we can process the images. I got my friend Mark to do this for me because I'm not a coder. Thanks, Mark. The readme file has an in-depth explanation of how Surat works, but the important bit for us are the command line parameters here. Uh, here's the folder with our images in it, and I've copied the Surat binaries in there as well. Um, now we open the command prompt in that directory and type our parameters in to run it. Here we have the executable name typed in, followed by the .json file, that we exported from Unity. You can see it here in the folder with the images. Manifest.json. Then we have the output path. Uh, you can put that wherever you want. And the target triangle count for our final mesh, which in this case is 10,000 polygons, which should be fine for us. Hit enter, and away we go. Um, I think this process took about 17 minutes. Now we open a new scene with a VR camera in it and import our Surat asset, which should have an OBJ and a PNG file. We'll need to make some adjustments to the default import settings for our texture. Things will be a bit messed up. The only thing we have to change in this case are wrap mode to clamp, change our max size to 4K, and then turn off generate mip maps. Hit apply, and we should be good. Now we take our OBJ file and drag it into the hierarchy. As we can see, it's exactly 10,000 polys and only two draw calls for the entire scene. We can zoom out a bit and see what kind of mess we made, and yep, it looks pretty funky. So let's grab our texture and drop it into the mesh. Then we set the shader to Google VR, Surat, Alpha Blended. I got a bit of help modifying the shader so that we can set a min-max color value 
to help negate some of the negative effects of low persistence OLED displays for VR. <clears throat> now we can zoom back out and see what's going on. Still looks pretty funky from out here, but you'll notice that when we get back to our capture box location, everything looks fine. Let's turn the character back on, and then we'll have to lower the render queue of the Surat shader so that it doesn't render over top of her. Now we have our fully recreated scene, but it's only 90,000 polygons and 11 draw calls with the character in the scene. I'm using the Google Daydream renderer for Unity to allow us to light our character to match the scene with 8 per pixel lights in a single pass. And as you can see from within the capture box and even a bit beyond, everything looks great. Full 3D, parallax, lighting looks great, can't complain. If we go way outside of the capture area and look back towards the center, we'll see some major artifacts of the Sarab mesh. But it's easy to pre but it's easy to prevent the player from doing this. Simple things like a fade down when they leave the capture volume. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter at AntiCleric for more VR stuff. Thanks for watching.